We had some good weather for National Signing Day 2022. It's just about over for high school football players across the country. Today, athletes across the Big Bend in South Georgia signing with their college of their choice, including FAMU. Sports Director Allison Posey joins us now from the Rattler Celebration Party. Allison, how do the Rattlers feel about their signing class? Uh, yeah, this signing class for FAMU this year, absolutely incredible, but you really don't want to hear me ramble about it when I have the man himself here, head coach Willie Simmons. Coach, overall, your feelings on this signing class? Very excited about this class. Uh, we feel like we address a lot of needs. Um, tapped into the transfer portal more than we have in the past, but again, a lot of great young men, some already on campus. What we're excited about today, uh, the future family football is bright. You talk about the future of family football, you talk about the guys that you have. A lot of local signings too. Six guys from the Big Ben signing. How important is it to tap into that local talent? Well, obviously I'm biased. Uh, being a product of, of the Big Ben, but I always want to start our recruiting base right here in Tallahassee in the Big Ben area. So we're excited to have six young men from this area joining the program uh, here this fall. and. We want to continue to build up our program from the inside out. You can tell he's a Gadsden County guy, too, because we have three players from Gadsden County that are going to be future Rattlers. Coach, what if the guy's not from Gadsden County, Florida High, Jordan Gilly, heck of a career at Florida High. He leaves the Seminoles as the program's all-time leading tackler. What are you expecting from him? Well, again, just like all these guys, I mean, the, the, the toughness, the love for football that these guys bring coming from the Big Bend area is really what our football team is all about. And so, you know, for a guy who uh, is a leading tackle at one of the, the premier programs here in the state of Florida, uh, shows you that he's a very, very good football player. So he has an extremely bright future, phenomenal family, and looking forward to seeing what he can do in the high seven hills. Two guys from records, too. I know we were talking about them earlier. Three guys from Gadsden, one from Florida High, two from Records. You you really hit up kind of all corners of the area. <laughs> well, we're trying. You know, still got some more schools we have to get some from. But uh, again, Coach Lewis over at Records has done a phenomenal job. Coach Hickman, uh, we already have three players from Florida High on the team currently, so adding another one. And then um, the job that Coach Fuller has done at Gadsden uh, is second to none. So phenomenal high school coaches in this area. Really, really good football players, and we're just excited to be able to continue the pipeline that we started when we got here four years ago. That celebration, he's excited, the fans are excited. They're starting to trickle in here at this National Signing Day celebration at the moon here in Tallahassee. I know we're doing a raffle later. What can what can we expect if we're coming out to the moon tonight? Well, just expect the party. You know, again, we're celebrating not only a great signing class, but a great football season. A lot of excitement. Our schedule has dropped. So just a chance to celebrate these young men, this great institution. And um, I'm blessed every day to be the head coach of such a great program. Such a great program that is Black College Football National Champions. Coach, we're excited heading into this year. I know it's so early. We we're not even to the spring yet. How excited are you for this upcoming year? Can't wait. Um, I think this year is going to be a phenomenal year in the SWAC. Um, expectations are at an all-time high, and uh, so we have our work cut out for us. Awesome, Coach. Thank you, as always. Go, go party with these fans. <laughs>